Hi everybody, welcome to Creator Studio Lumbicious. My name is Nancy and today I will show you guys how to make a very special bracelet. This one. This is a bracelet that transforms into the animal it represents. This will be a kitty or a cat and it's a bracelet but you can also play with it like a cat if you transform it. When it's around your wrist it looks a little bit like this. This one is slightly different. I altered this one and I like this one better. So I will show you guys how to make this one uh, so you can play with it but you can also um, wear it around your wrist and um, have it with you uh, all the time if you want to. Um, band count can be found in the description below. I will make the multicolored one with you guys right now and I might also try uh, this bracelet um, as a dog or another animal uh, and show you guys how to do that in natural colors also. But first I wanted to create this beautiful kitty bracelet with you guys. And of course I will show you how to transform it, but I will do that at the end of this tutorial. Uh, so subscribe if you haven't done it already by clicking this button here and uh, thumbs up if you enjoy my tutorials and want to see more of course. And let's just start with this cute bracelet. I will remove it from my wrist right now because I don't want uh, this to be in the way and disturbing my video or distracting you guys. So I will remove this for now and I will show you guys how we can transform this beautiful bracelet into this cute kitty you can play with if you like. So let us start. Make sure your loom is set in this position. We will need it like this the whole way. Um, for the multicolor, you need approximately five different colors, but like I said, you can find the band count in the description below. And I will make a, a naturally uh, colored one uh, later on, but I have to figure out where to put what color. So first this one, uh, we're going to start with, uh, for me, uh, the pinkish uh, color, I will show you that will be the legs. It will represent the paws and the legs of the uh, cat. So grab that color and place uh, three bands in the center row. So these are three, then place two bands of the same color. And then place three bands again of the same color. We will only use the center column this time. So these are three. Then place two again. Then we're going to grab our next color. So that will be the green here. But I will switch that green to purple for me. So you can really make any any color you like. You can even make it in one color if you like to do so. So Grab your next color, place three bands. And then grab your next color, and that will be a little bit light colored for me. Three bands also. Grab the same color you just placed and place two bands right now. Then grab your pink color again and place two bands. So these are also two bands. Then we're going to grab the end of the tail color. For me it will be black. Grab three bands. So these are three. Place them here. And then grab two. Place them here. And then I will turn my loom because we need to double loop two black bands. For me, this will be the end of the tail color, or the end of your bracelet color. So double loop singles here. 
then we are going to cap off the end of the row with a single of the same color you just used and wrap it around twice. This will be a little bit tricky looming because it will be very loose. You can also uh, wrap it around three times, I guess. It, it's possible to clip it with three bands, but, but it will be a little bit thick. So I will do two. Two loops for the cap bands. Um, and then we can loom this part of the bracelet already. So go behind that loose cap band. You really need to hold that down with your thumb. Then loom over that double loop band and simply loom the entire column until you reach the end of your loom. You don't need to attach anything else at this point. Since I'm, I am using round bands to loop this, make sure they are not badly twisted because it will look a little bit bad if they are and you will notice it more because the bands are round. So if you use your round bands, make sure they aren't twisted too badly. Yay, final set. This is actually all we need for now. So carefully remove this from the loom. I will stick another hook through here and just leave it on that hook for now. So it should look like this right now. This would be one part of the bracelet. So put this aside for now. Awesome. Awesome colors also. Yay. Yeah. Put this aside and let us continue with the second part of this bracelet. Um, grab your second color again you used. The color you used for the, the greenish here with me. So that was purple with me. Three bands right now. Then grab your first color you started with, pink for me. Two bands. Now grab three of the same color. And then place two again. There is a pattern here, of course. <laughs> so if you understand the pattern, you know you have to place three again now of the same color. And place two again of the same color. Yes, then we're going to place, um, you have a choice actually to place two, I, I placed three, three of the first color you placed again, so three bands here in the center, you can always clip one away if you think it's too thick, but I will show you why I say this later. So three bands here, then we are going to make the body, and the body will be light pink on my um, loom, so grab two bands at a time right now, place two here, place two here, and then go to the right on each row with two bands of the same color, we are going to create a tiny cat body here. two bands at a time. Go down once more or to the right once more. With two bands at a time. Now place two in the center row, down again. And then we are going to place two diagonally like this. Close up the body at the bottom and two diagonally on the opposite side. Then we are going to place our horizontal bands. I will use just one single band and stretch it across all three pegs of 
the same color you just placed. You only need to place two. Then grab three bands of the first color you used. Place them here. And then place two bands of the pink color you used here or the color you use here, I don't know what you use of course as color. Um, like this, yes. yes. That's about it for the second part. There will be a third part of course. Uh, turn your loom. And then we're going to attach this piece we had loomed already onto this peg. So get all those six loops around there. like this so we can loom further and then um, yes yeah, simply loom everything up so go behind this uh, just placed piece of the bracelet grab those first bands and loom over and continue looming those three bands and then grab the top two loops and loom diagonally Grab the next two and loom diagonally. Loom the center only once. Then loom the sides first. Make sure you go behind your horizontal bands. And loom across here to the center column. And then loom the other side upwards. And also loom sidewards to the center column, push down if needed. And then loom up the entire center column until you reach the end of your loom. Make sure you go behind all these bands, only grab the bottom three. It will be a little bit tight, but you can manage. And then simply loom everything up. I missed one here. These are three bands. Two bands again. And loom the last three. There we go. And carefully remove this from your loom. so cute with all those sparkles in there there we go stick your hook through here again you might want to sort everything out a tiny bit and these bands are a little bit twisted on mine here I'm not sure if I can make that right still. That's what I meant with trying to make them not that twisted. They look bad because the bands are round. You will notice it so much more than when placing uh, flat bands, but it looks okay. Yes, it looks awesome. So this will be the second part of your bracelet. Put this aside for now and let us continue with the last part of the bracelet already. Yay! Um, first we're going to make some ears. So grab your uh, end of the tail collar. For me that's black. So grab a single band, double loop it on your loom. Grab another one, double loop it also. And then cap off by wrapping around a single band five times. One, two, three, four, and five. It's a little bit hard to do this, this with the round bands. They are less stretchy, but it's manageable. So create a second ear exactly the same way. I didn't do mine, so... I'll do it with you guys. A second ear. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. It 
surround there again. I'll simply loom up these ears. They will be quite tight. I hope my bands won't snap. Loom these. Carefully remove them if possible from your loom. It really is that tight. There we go. It will look better if you use, uh, if you can't manage to do five uh, reps, simply use four, okay? It doesn't really matter, but I like five better. But four will also do. So this will be the ears. Keep uh, that aside for now. Um, and then let us start with placing uh, the head. The head is inspired uh, um, by watching other tutorials, so it isn't completely my uh, original design. I did change uh, some things around, but um, well, the basics are from another, um, well, loads of other rainbow balloon cats out there. So I combined some things. Um, so let us start with the head right now. Use two bands at a time for now. I do have to count where to be on my loom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, place two bands here. This is uh, quite important because it will make uh, attaching it easy on this bag. The other half of the bracelet. So, two bands here of the color you also used for the body in the previous part. Then place two bands diagonally. I really have to look how I did that. That's why I am recording this right now. I designed this um, this afternoon to diagonally here. In the hope I won't forget what I did. Two down here. Two down here. And then we are going to place three bands stretched out to here. Push down. And we are going to place three bands on the opposite side, stretched out, of course, there. Then we are going to grab the end of the tail uh, color again, or the color you, you, you just used for the ears. Place two bands here. For me, it will be black. Two here. Two more in the center row, and then we will make some eyes. So grab your eye color. Mm, I will use my sparkly light color for the eyes. Wrap a single band around four times around your hook, and do that again. This then grab a single, yeah, just use a, a black band, yeah, use a uh, the color you used inside the head here. So grab a single band, slide over those eyes onto there, both of them, then place those eyes onto those two pegs, this one. This one, then we are going to spread the eyes <laughs> apart. Get them on both sides of that peg. Try to place them neat without a twist, if possible. Then we are going to pull down just one piece of that band downwards, like this. So pull that over here. Oh, and I see I'm forgetting something. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
remove this. Well, it's just a little add-on, nothing of a big deal. Remove those eyes, leave it on your hook like this. We will replace it in a second. Um, place. Am I doing this correctly? Place, yeah, place a single band here and stretch it of the center color of the head and place one here and stretch it. Yes, that's how it's supposed to be. It will give a little bit more black on the inside of the face of the cat. Then replace those eyes the way we just did. So get it on here. And on the opposite side, try to spread those eyes apart a bit and then grab only one loop of the eye band and stretch it across to here. Oh, come on. I hope your eye looks a little bit more neat than mine is at the moment, but I will leave it like this. Not a big of a deal. So uh, we are going to make the snout. I will also use my light glittery color for this. Uh, I will hold my loom to show you how I did that. Grab two bands at a time. Make a figure eight, but hold it on your finger. Pull. Twist again and place it upwards like this. Then we are going to grab the bottom loops bottom two bands and pull that over here then turn your loom and grab the bottom two bands on this side only the bottom two three now yes so grab the bottom two and also pull that one over and then there is a little knot in the center remove this from your loom hold it with your finger and pull tight this will be the nose and the whiskers at once. I thought that was pretty clever. Then we are going to stick our hook through here. Those two tiny knot loops. Slide it onto your hook. And then we are going to pull through one band of the inner face color of the cat. And get it on there, slide it onto there. Like this. And this will be the snout part. And then place this on your uh, on these two pegs here on the outside. Like this, and it will be below, we will attach it below this peg. This will be in the center already. And it's supposed to be there in the center and it will stay there. We will have to pull it through uh, later, but that will be fine. Um, then we are going to attach the ears. And we're going to attach the ears onto those two bags before looming anything. There we go. There will be one ear. be one ear and then the last thing we need to do is attaching two more bands at the bottom here or did I use three I didn't wrote that down but I can check I can check I can check yeah I guess I used three yes into three so grab three bands it will be the neck a tiny bit. It will be a bit busy here on the pack, but it's possible to do so. So place three bands here. And this will be the head. So attach your base. There isn't uh, a back or front on this, so just attach it the way you have it on your hook. And then we can loom the part, this part of the head. Yay! So first loom over those three diagonally, then uh, 
they are placed diagonally. Those three bands simply loom them over. And then we go inside here, grab the first two bands you come across, loom over, and if possible, <coughs> pull through these whiskers. You can clip them later if you want to. Let's get them on top of those. Yes, like this. So simply get them apart. And then loom once more in the center. Go behind all those bands here. And only grab the two bands and loom over. Stop looming in the center now. We're going to do the side. You might need to tilt your loom to grab the first three bands you come across. I have to do this, otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. So grab the first three bands, loom diagonally, get inside there again, loom the next three, then go behind here and grab that black band first. It will be one single band, stretch it across to there. Same thing on the opposite side, go behind these bands, only grab the black band or your inner head color. Try to get those eyes. This is a little bit tricky. Those eyes have to be on the inside. You can also do this later, by the way. I think I will do this later. Remove it back. Yeah. Leave it for now if it is like this. We can pull back those eyes later. So, loom up the side. Two bends here. here then we are going to loom diagonally oh was my hair in the way mm. well could be sorry <laughs> I should clip it my hair so it isn't in the way go inside this pack and loom diagonally grab both of those bands oh put it here for now and this one remove it and put it here for now we need to loom the inside first so get that over there and then this here push down if needed and replace this there will be a lot of bands there so it might be hard to loom the next set but we're, I'm going to try I'm going to try to get this it's very tight, so I will use a another hook to loosen everything up. Yay! And then loom. You can actually grab a um, a tie off band to tie this off, or C clip it already if possible. Is that possible? Yeah, the top one will be easy. We need to C clip this, so you can also use a C clip immediately. And get that on there so it's tied off the same way remove this from your loom then we are done already it's so easy to loom this but so fun and of course you guys want to see how this transforms so i will show you in a second first remove this from your loom carefully then we will shape the face a tiny bit because it will and look a little bit weird when we remove it. I have uh, quite tiny wrists, so I will show you in a second. You can make this even longer if needed. Uh, it will look a little bit squashed now, so you need to pull a bit on those. On that head, get those black bands to the side, get that eye the center of the head as much as possible like this pull a bit on those whiskers search for that other eye get those black bands to the side and try to place an eye approximately a bit more to the center like this pull a bit on those ears 
And there you have your kitty face. So like I said, I have quite some tiny wrists, so this will probably fit my wrist. This will fit mine. But if you need to make this longer and you have bigger wrists than me, simply continue looming this. You can even do this by hand on your hook, right? Placing, adding two more bands every time. So let's say I want to add two more bands. Of course, you can remove the C-clip from there after you place two more bands in there and then simply continue looming until you have the desired length of your bracelet. Let's say this will be enough, then C-clip it. This will be a little bit tight and difficult because those bands are quite thick but everything is possible, so get it around there. Also the other two loops, of course, otherwise it will still fall apart. Yes. Are they around there, all of them? Yes, they are. So. This will be the bracelet. And of course you can use the tail, the cap band, we, we put it on the tail to, to close it up. So like this, we have two loops here. There we go. And you can wear this as a bracelet around your wrist. Like this. This just looks awesome, sparkly. This is so cool. This can be done, but of course now you guys want to see how you create a really a, a 3D kitten with this. Well, I will show you guys. Untie the tail. Uh, you will have to leave this. This will be there as a uh, extension for the bracelet if you wear it as a bracelet. Well. This will be a little bit tricky, but it's manageable to do so. Have it like this, so the face is facing the table, facing down. You need to pull open these three bands here. That's why you might want to clip one to make it two, because it will be very tight. You have to push through these pink bands, through that purple set. You have to push that through. And when you have done that, you can pull on it and get it through until you reach the purple. Like this. And there you have the front paws. This represents the front paws of the cat. The cat. Yes, it's a cat. <laughs> so, this will be the body. And then we have to do the same thing, but we can do this the opposite way by pulling through the tail part, through the purple bands here at the end of the body. So pull through until you also reach the same color like this. And there we have the back legs. And then you can... Um, shape the tail a tiny bit in which way you want the tail to be so like this and there you have your own bracelet just transformed into a cute cat oh i have two of these now this one has a bigger extension than this one oh this is so cute um where are my scissors? I didn't clip the whiskers yet. I will pull extra tight, but I will try. I will try on one on how that looks. Let's see. We can also clip these and then it should 
look even better, I guess. Here yeah, is also cute. Yeah. But you can decide. I think this is better. Clipping them. Yeah, it looks better. I will do this on my other. Oh, I didn't pull that tight. Make sure you pull it tight because it's only a knot. So if this falls apart, it will fall apart completely. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, guys, I really hope you enjoyed um, this uh, special tutorial. Um, thumbs up if you like uh, these um, transformation bracelets. And I will see if I can make them in a dog too, and maybe in other animals also. I will make this a little bit smaller. I don't like it that big. And it won't fit my wrist, so I will definitely make that with one loop on top, simply remove those. So you can make it bigger and smaller if you want to. Oh, these are so cute. I really like them so much. But I hope you guys simply enjoyed this um, video. Uh, thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. And uh, comment in the... Yeah, place comments if you want to see other transformation bracelets appear. I think they are adorable. You can make a whole collection of them and play with them and have fun and also look awesome when wearing these around your wrist. So, guys, have fun, be creative, and well, I hope you enjoyed this. I really hope you guys did. Hey, I certainly did. These are awesome, awesome cute bracelets. Yes. Enjoy, guys. Have fun. Be creative. Bye bye.